So this place is known for a special sort of ice cream. Burnt ice cream. Burnt ice cream. Oh, it's burnt. Oh my god, I have a little tiny sip here. Like, straight away burns you. Always an issue trying to get ice cream here in Turkey. Oop, oop, We are currently on the side of a mountain and we're staying in these bungalows that have just been carved into like the side of the mountain. Look at this view. Is this epic or what? I think this is the best view we've ever had at an accommodation. Like we're camping. And this is I know, it. right? Wow. So this is Butterfly Valley and there's a beach down there and our bungalows are just around the corner there. This is where you can have breakfast, have some coffee, but oh my goodness. So, wow, this is one of those moments where you're just like, man, I appreciate being here in Turkey. Mm -hmm. You just saw such a beautiful sunset. Turkey is amazing. We were just talking and saying how there's a lot of people that will message us saying they really want to go to Greece, but they're not too sure if they can afford it. Turkey is an amazing option. It's Mediterranean. It literally feels like you're in Greece. It's actually more, I mean, Greece is definitely going to be always one of our favorite countries because, you know, we got married there. It's a special place for us. But Turkey has Greece with a little bit more variety. Mm. People wanting that Mediterranean, like, summery holiday. I'm not too sure if you've ever thought of Turkey, but it's an amazing option. But wow. Dinner is being served, but <laughs> I, I just... We haven't even gone yet. They're all waiting for us. <laughs> So staying at a place called George House, those are the cabins. Of course, as we showed you before, you can camp, which to be honest, I wouldn't even be mad if we were to be camping. They have the best view. And then with George House, they have George Restaurant, and that's where we're going to be eating tonight. They've literally cooked up a massive homemade beef. beef. It's so good. Look at this. Oh, what have we got? Literally, I described everything. Like that's okra, what? chickpeas, yogurt. I swear, Turkey's like one of my favorite places for food. It's amazing. Oh wow. And that's the view for dinner. <laughs> Good morning, Bobby. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We've currently woken up. It's currently 7 a.m. We currently have the best view in the world for breakfast. We Literally. Just a big pile of eggs and a nice, nice view. <laughs> Do you know what's crazy about today? Is that we're going to start it up here camping in the mountains and this video is going to be ending with us spending two nights sleeping on a boat out here in the Turkish Mediterranean. Literally just been sitting here with my coffee for the last hour watching the sun slowly pop out and finally did. Because of the mountains up there it's about eight o'clock so it's risen a bit later than normal but uh, it's now popped through and Butterfly Valley is slowly lighting up. We were just going for a little explore. Um, I think this is a pomegranate tree and I've never seen pomegranates growing before. They're like tiny, so dee dee. And then I also noticed that they have a full on like, garden here. George's place is just self-sustainable. This is where to be. Look at it, full on capsicums. It's so cool. Honestly, I feel like this has just made me realize why I love small group tours because we wouldn't have found this place on our own and luckily we can now show you guys some places to stay because George's house is the place to be. I would Look suggest you guys come here. I think that other tree might have been dying but this one's like in full force. Look at those. Okay, you're gonna have to tear myself away from this view at some point. Our bus is just here. We're heading back into the city and just staying the night there at the hotel before heading to the harbour. Cheers, Cheers everyone! Woo! Blue Lagoon is this little beach right on the Mediterranean. It is like tropical paradise. So we've just come out for lunch and then we're going to spend basically the whole day at the beach. That sounds like... Oh wait, wait, wait. Beach day! <laughs> beach day! Beach day! Seriously guys, how blue is this water? That is such an insane colour. Also, I think the most popular thing to do is paragliding because there is just so many people that's not even popping up on the camera. Alright, now we're officially in Blue Lagoon. How amazing is this backdrop? Oh my gosh! 
I think the theme for Turkey is... I can't believe this is Turkey. I know, right? So... We're this is Hawaii. We just took a flight to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> it is so amazing here. So this little area, they call it Blue Lagoon because there's actually... So the Mediterranean Sea is over there. And then the water comes into this little inlet and it's created this lagoon. And so the water is so still. The water is so warm. <sighs> it's so nice. Ready? One, two, three. Guys, we've said goodbye to George's house. Oh my gosh, he was seriously the cutest old man ever. If you ever come here, you need to stay at George's house. We have now left the mountain and we are back down in the city. The area we're staying in is called Fatia and... From mountains to city. Town. We're still surrounded by the mountains. Oh yeah. It's a very cool place and we're all meeting up for dinner because our tour guide was telling us that there's a fish market here and it is a very unique fish market. I'll tell you more when we get there. So we're currently walking to the fish market and we've come across these rock tombs they're 2500 years old and this is the way that they used to bury some of like the higher ranked or kings i guess in the area and it kind of reminds me of petra the treasury in petra where they've carved the tombs in there has nothing to do with petra they've just done a similar thing here but but yeah it's cool how this is here as we're like casually walking to dinner there's so much history here in turkey yeah, this is Turkey's version of the treasury of Petra. These rock tombs also give you an amazing view of Fatia. Wow. Alright, I think we've found some sort of market. Oh wow, lots of fruit. That's the name in Turkish. If you can read this, let us know below what it means, but wow. Oh, I was looking at the camera, I didn't see the markets. <laughs> Hello. Guys, I think we've come to the most unique fish markets we've ever been to. So what you do is you come inside, you go up to the fish area and you order whatever you like. So can I please get six of the prawns? You want any butter with garlic and chili, no? Yeah, that sounds good. So six of those. Six pieces of the calamari. Right or grilled? Um, grilled. Yep. And then finally... Yeah? That looks good. Can I get this fish, please? <laughs> <laughs> and it came to only 12 Australian dollars and then in that fee they also clean the fish and then you pay for a table it's 10 lira per person and that includes your salad bread garlic butter and they cook all the seafood that you just ordered and bring it all to your table so literally for three of us we're paying around 15 Australian dollars to have a massive seafood dinner this is so cool so fresh so then we just come to this restaurant and the guys from the fish market is going to bring it here and cook it up for us and then we're all just going to have a group dinner. And now there's more that we can pick from this restaurant so we can order some meze. Small eggplant while the difference is it's got onions, pepper. Oh wow, that's having like an interesting reaction to the yeah. water. And this doesn't happen when you add hot water in it. Really? Really it cold? Grab one as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's like ruckle. Ruckle. But like the eye, because it doesn't have a dot, you have to say it like ruckle. Ruckle. I don't know, really know. But it's kind of like, I've heard it's like ooze, it's got that licorice flavour. But this is a traditional Turkish alcohol, and they actually mix it with water. And when that's you put such cold, an interesting reaction. Yeah, they say that when you put hot water, it doesn't do this, only cold water. It's milky. It smells very licorice-y. Cheers. This is our first time trying Raku. Raku? Yeah. Oh, it tastes like Uzo. A bit stronger than Uzo. Yeah, this is Ooh. like 43%. That's it's just like how to drink like liquid licorice. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, it's burnt. Oh my god, I have a little tiny sip here. Like, straight away burns you. It's 45% alcohol. Wow. Have a tiny sip. Yeah, we try it. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Alrighty, first up we've got our calamari. We've got some fried, some grilled. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. It's just so yummy. Alright, save some wow. for me. No, it's done. Quick. Oh, we have this amazing sauce. Mm. You know what? No! Mm -mm. You're ruining it. 
So you probably ordered too much food. But it's prawns. Can you stop Garlic getting all the prawns? Oh, yes. No driving now. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. We jumped on a bus this morning and we've just arrived at a little town called Cash and we are right on the water. So we have the day to spend here before we jump on the boat. I mean, this is what this town is about. You've got your Greek style Mediterranean look with the Turkish influence. To be honest, I wish we kind of stayed here last night. How beautiful is this town? It looks like a Mediterranean Greek influenced town. I totally recommend staying here. It's like quiet. They have a lot of like day trips to Greece from here and like scuba diving and snorkeling to us. So, so beautiful little it's, holiday spot. You see buildings being like built up the side of the coast. Well, very mountainous this coast as well. Yeah. This is by far the hottest day we have had. I think it's almost 40 degrees, which means it's a good excuse to have ice cream. And our guide was telling us that this place is known for a special sort of ice cream. Burnt ice cream. Burnt ice cream. <laughs> so what they actually do, it's made with goat milk, and they cook the ingredients until it burns in the pot. And then it gives the ice cream, I guess, like a burnt kind of taste. And it's called Yanak Donduruma. I might not know if I'm saying that one right, but... So let's get some char-grilled burnt ice cream. That's an excuse for me to have ice cream, because I'm like, Steve, I found a unique ice cream. We'll um, have to try it's it. 40 degrees today. Oh, different. Oh my gosh. Caramel. No caramel. Okay, I'm definitely getting caramel. Can I please get caramel? Caramel? Yes, yes. caramel. Caramel, yes, please. Caramel. Uh-huh. Always an issue trying to get ice cream here in Turkey. I like how we're about to order three of these. <laughs> okay. Do you finally get your ice cream? <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you. All right. So that's one. <laughs> So we got a boat to catch, so Yum. you're gonna have to give your very good. It literally tastes like burnt caramel. Is yours burnt taste? Because mine's very burnt. No. It tastes like chocolate. Mine just tastes, so honestly good. tastes like chocolate, but Yum. very good gelato. Good. It's so yummy. Yes. Approved. The caramel is really good. It's kind of like the salted caramel taste. Because you're not ordering um, another yum. another scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, just made it down to the harbour and we are going to find out our boat. I'm not sure what to expect. And this little village is quite unique and the only way you can get to the village is by boat. <laughs> uh, Uber Eats is here. <laughs> 